Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing day 13 of the advent of cyber and this one's pretty easy. This one uh, is actually really easy, but we're going to walk through it anyway. So you can see they have the VM and attack box. So we're going to start those babies up. They're already started. So before we get going guys, hit that like button, hit that sub button and let's go ahead and try and knock out all of the advent of cyber this year. <laughs> I normally start it and never finish it. I'm trying to get through all of them, but I'm still behind. So maybe I'll catch up. Maybe I won't. We'll find out. All right, so first things first, they give us this username and password and um, IP to SSH into. So let's go ahead and do that just to get going. So we'll just make this baby larger. All right, I'm gonna move my camera so that you guys can see SSH and we're gonna say 10, or we're gonna say Van Twinkle. Van Twinkle at 10.10.197.113. Yes, and then Twinkle Star is his password. Okay, perfect. So, and he can run full um, root access. He has sudo tech L, and it's Twinkle Star. So you can see he has full access, so we can run sudo on pretty much everything. So what we're talking about here today is the intrusion detection. So how can we prevent and then also how do we detect? So firstly, they're gonna use the diamond model. So here you can see the diamond model. You can see someone's calling me, hold on. All right, so you can see the diamond model. So they're using adversary capabilities, victim infrastructure. This is the diamond model. That's the one they're using, okay? They're saying they're interconnected, all that stuff, that's fine. You can use whatever model you want. You'll still need the same technical expertise to do this. So the victim, this is none other than the target of the adversary's wicked intentions. So this is just who's getting attacked, right? Infrastructure, exactly what it sounds like. What is the infrastructure, right? Is it what server, what, you know, what hosts, what everything? Infrastructure, it's the network, it's built out, right? Um, all right, so now capability. What capabilities do the adversaries have, right? Can the capability, or can the adversary fish you? Can they exploit vulnerabilities, blah, blah, blah. It's, if you're, unless you're tracking a specific um, APT or targeting or um, you know looking for a specific attack to come in, which in this case we are, just assume they have all these capabilities. I'll say that. Um, so here they're talking more about the defensive diamond model. We don't really care too much about that. Um, the reason I say we don't care too much about that is because the thing they're focusing on here is the firewall and the honeypot. So a firewall, what is it? It's literally your first line of defense. It's just saying putting up a wall saying you can't come in unless I tell you you can right it's just the doorway it's the way in well so here you can see we're gonna use um, the uncomplicated firewall UFW so all we're gonna do they say pseudo UFW status inactive so the firewall is inactive right now okay well they're gonna start adding rules so the rule they're adding is an un uncomplicated firewall default allow outgoing so anything outgoing allow it they put that rule in place okay and then deny anything incoming put that rule in place okay now you can see here you can get very specific with the rules you can say um sorry pseudo uncomplicated firewall allow port 22 allow tcp traffic only so okay pretty specific we can get even more specific right pseudo un uncomplicated firewall deny from this specific ip so anything coming from that ip block it i don't want to see it now this one here you can see even more specific deny anything that's coming in meaning inbound on this interface etho or ethernet zero anything coming in on that interface from this ip block it you can get very specific right i do not want that person talking to this host through this interface get it out of here right then you have to enable it so then you can see it's going to read the rules and it's going to actually set those rules so you can see they have status they show the status and they have here the logging is on low that status is active and then here's your rules they're allowed port 22 allow port 22 ipv6 they deny anything from this ip address and then anywhere on ethernet zero port or interface deny from this ip address so seems pretty self-explanatory pretty easy right all right well let's get involved so here, the question is which security model is being used? We talked about that, the diamond model. 
which defense capability is used to actively search for signs of malicious activity this is easy threat hunting that's actively searching for signs of malicious activity you're threat hunting that's exactly what you're doing now what are the two main infrastructure focuses today that they're covering firewall and honeypot we talked about that now which firewall command is used to block traffic that's deny you can see here um do, 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 do. deny action that's the what's stopping it now there's a flag in one of the stories can you find it well what's telling us is after learning about firewalls and honeypots van twinkle put his knowledge and he's got his own rules so we hit ls and you can see there's his rules so let's cat him first okay so we need sudo and we're going to just nano them so because we have to edit them okay so we have these rules we have force the reset okay then add the rules default allow incoming okay so we're allowing incoming traffic we're allowing http traffic okay and it says here that there's a website um your task is to update the firewall rules to expose the website to find a publicly hidden flag okay well first let's look at the website see if we can get to it right so the let's see what the ip is here so we'll say http and hopefully you guys can see these yeah you could okay perfect and we'll say 10 10 197.113 okay unable to connect that means a it's either um being blocked or b this isn't the port that exists well we have to edit these rules now here there's a couple of things being blocked here well are being uh denied automatically well they're denying port 21 that's ftp so i don't think it's that one denying from any port to any port 8088 so we could remove that one and see if port 8088 works but i've already done that it's port 8090 so we get rid of this rule that denies anyone from talking on there we say yes save it then we have to actually, or actually now we have to run it, right? So we have to say sudo run van twinkle rules because it has to reset and run those rules. Yes. All right. So now we should be able to pull this up and say, instead of HTTPS, we want HTTP. And then we could say 8090 and hit enter. And keep in mind, there it is. We removed that rule on the firewall and said, let them talk, right? So we let them talk, and then we go through here. And it says here, your task is to update, expose the website to the public, find the hidden flag. Well, here's the flag. It says, hint, find the flag on the website once the firewall rules have been updated. Okay. Well, one of these said, um, I thought I saw it somewhere where it said it was in one of the stories. Oh yeah, there's a flag in one of the stories. Can you find it? So the, it says it right there. So you just go through here and you look for, it doesn't take anything really. You just scroll down until you see some weird stuff. Boom. You could even control F and look for THM because that's how they do their flags. There's your flag. Now no answer needed. So that covers the box. It's super simple, right, to get the answers. But what I want to cover is the honeypot because um, I'm sure someone's going to ask about that too. So here we have the CD pent box right this is the honeypot we're gonna run so all we have to do is cd into pentbox and you can see there's a ruby script pentbox.rb so we'll say pentbox jesus if i could type today dot rb okay and we can see we want network tools now you can see there's a lot more to this so use this sparingly we're gonna do network tools then we're gonna say we want to use the honeypot three. Okay, now manual configuration. You don't have to do the manual configuration. You can do auto, but I want to show you guys that you can do this. So, what port do we want to open? Let's just do one, two, three, four, right? Insert false message to show. We're gonna say you have been hacked by Stuffy. Right. Okay. Save log with intrusions. Yes. That log is going to be saved there. Okay. So we'll save it there. 
Activate beep sound, sure. The reason you might have a beep sound is maybe you have this set up on your network and you wanna know if somebody it, it actually activates it. So it's activate, it's sitting there, it's working. Well, now we can just go open tab. We can say telnet and we can say 10.10.197.113 and we can say on port 1234. Okay, so we're connected. Let's try LS. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, didn't get LS. Oh, you have been hacked by Stuffy. So we got a response. Now we come back here and look at this. Intrusion attempt detected from, that's our IP, 1010.128.162 from this port at this time. So now we actually have a log, so let's look at it, right? Let's go to LS, go to other LS. Uh, log dot honeypot oops log honey honeypot dot text there it is there's our log of intrusion detection attempts so right away we can see who's trying to attack our network why is this relevant well we might need to go block them we might just say is this IP associated with an APT oh it is associated with an APT cool now we know this APT is targeting us so now we can start looking at what they do and how to prepare for them so there's a lot of skills here that you can actually utilize quite a bit um and i think they did a decent job on this one this was a, a five out of ten box for me because they showed how to use the firewall rules even though this isn't what most enterprise companies will use as a firewall but and then they showed the honeypot but they didn't ask any questions about it and they only really had you remove a rule they didn't have you add anything or anything so i think it was a five out of ten but let me know what you guys think and hopefully you guys have a great day thank you